Hey, what's going on everybody? Jeremy here. Today I want to talk about a rarely used tool built into GoPro Studio. Now this tool, you've probably never even seen it before, but it can be very helpful. That tool is called Split Point. Now what Split Point does, it allows you to see the differences between your color corrected footage and your original footage. It literally places a split point over your footage and allows you to see the differences between the two. Now, before we start, I wanna mention that the newest version of GoPro Studio supports a feature called Flux. Flux is similar to Twixter and allows you to create super slow motion clips. And I'll link you to my Flux tutorial at the end of this video. I'm gonna keep this overview simple just to show you how beneficial split point can be. So here I have a clip that was shot using 1080p mode and I'm gonna drag the ProTune filter on my clip. We now see my clip looks quite different, but we don't really see what the differences really are. So first of all, you may have never even known that this tool was available because it's sort of hidden, but if we expand this window, you'll see it's listed. So now that we have the ProTune preset added, we can drag the split point to the center and we can see what the differences are between the two. You can slide it to wherever you like in the middle or the closer to the sides. This tool can really help you with your color correcting or just seeing what the differences are between certain presets and your original footage. What I really like is that everything can be done on the fly. There's no waiting. You can easily see what you're doing and how different your color corrected clip looks compared to your original footage. Another tip that will save you some time is that when you're done with your edit is to bring the split point back to the original position. If not, your final export will look like this. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude this video. I really hope you found it helpful. If you learned something new, give me a like. That helps me out a lot. If you have any more comments, questions, or if you want to leave a request for a video, you can leave it down below in the comments section. Like I said before, I did a Flux tutorial, so if you want to check that out, I'm going to link that at the end of this video as well as in the description of this video. So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh yeah, and feel free to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I usually post my updates on when my new videos are uploaded on there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button.